I mean, as I mentioned after Thorgy's elimination, that I, I probably would have kept her. Thorgy and I had talked a lot about taking drag to a new level where no one has ever seen it been taken before, like her Thorkistra. That's really cool. She wants to take drag in a completely different direction. Just like I want to do with my skating career. Like, bring milk onto the ice. Milk seems to think that she is, like, inventing a new category of drag, but I don't think any of us are doing anything new. Like, I'm a camp queen. I'm not trying to convince anybody that I invented camp. Actually, drag has come from some pretty weird places. Like, yeah. I think that we tend to talk about drag as if it's come from, like, a fishy pageant like background, but the reality is that's one of many backgrounds. Like Rue has said in the past, there's nothing new under the sun. Drag history has gone on for a very long time with a lot of crazy stuff. Like, you know, I love Sasha and I think she's totally incredible and an amazing performer. I'm so glad she won. She's not the first bald queen, you know? Yeah. There's a history of that and being a part of a history is awesome. I don't see a problem with it. honoring all different types of drag. The places where drag has been before, the legacy that it was built upon wasn't a bad place. So basically, you need to do more research. Is there a violin playing <laughs> drag queen out there right now? We will all be purchasing a ticket to Thorgy's Thorchestra when it oh goes God, down. Put me on the list, plus three. Wait, because I'm in a polyamorous relationship, oh, so I'm bringing okay. plus three. <laughs>